If you're looking for a meal that feels incredibly special and pretty gourmet, then you've got to try the seared tuna recipe. It is a restaurant worthy dinner and you're not going to believe how easy it is to make. Hi there, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. So if you watch my Instagram stories, you may know that every Friday night, my husband and I do a date night in where we just cook a special meal together, send the kids off to watch a movie. This seared tuna recipe is one of my favorite date night dinners. We are going to perfectly sear tuna until it's caramelized on the outside and still rare in the center. The tuna is gonna have tons of flavor because we're gonna use a really quick and easy marinade and we're going to drizzle it with a spicy sriracha sauce. Stick around because I'm also going to show you how to transform this tuna into spicy tuna bowls. Probably one of my favorite dinners ever and I can't wait to show you how easily they come together. Now before we jump into cooking, let's talk tuna. I am so lucky to live right down the road from a fishmonger, but wherever you buy your tuna, you wanna seek out the freshest tuna you can buy. You're looking to buy one and a half to two inch tuna steaks. When you're shopping for tuna, you'll most likely see yellowfin, otherwise called ahi tuna. You might see bluefin tuna, but it's a little bit more expensive. Also the term sushi grade, is just something that marketers made up to sell more fish, so you don't need to worry about that. You just wanna buy the freshest fish you can find. As I mentioned, we are cooking the tuna to rare. It is perfectly safe if you've ever eaten sushi. This is even safer than sushi because we're gonna cook the outside of the fish. However, if you are pregnant or if you can't eat raw fish for any reason, you just cook the fish further until it is cooked all the way through. And one last thing I do wanna note is that tuna is an expensive piece of fish if you buy the good stuff. And it is higher in mercury than other fish, so it is a special occasion meal, but it is worth the wait. First, we're gonna make a really quick and easy marinade for the tuna, and this is going to impart a lot of flavor. So I have two tablespoons of tamari, or you can use soy sauce, a tablespoon of a neutral vegetable oil. We have one tablespoon of fresh lime juice. This is about half of a lime a teaspoon of honey, or you could do maple syrup or brown sugar, anything that's going to add a little bit of sweetness, and this is also going to help the fish to caramelize in the pan, and then a garlic clove. Twist this together. That's it for the marinade, really simple. I'm gonna grab the tuna from the fridge. Since we're cooking it just until rare, you wanna keep it as cold as you can for as long as you can. Ugh. Such a beautiful piece of fish. You can see how glossy it is and it has zero smell. So you wanna find a small baking dish or you can use a zip top bag. We're gonna put the fish into there and then pour that marinade all over top. And then you just kinda of wanna move it around to coat in the marinade. All right, I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap and refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes, but you can refrigerate it for up to three hours. I like to go in there and turn it a few times while it's chilling, just to make sure that that marinade evenly coats everything. While the tuna marinades, we are going to make this spicy sriracha sauce. It's so easy. So we need a tablespoon of fresh lime juice, and we're gonna add one garlic clove. You can either grate the garlic clove right into the lime juice, or you can just crush the clove and let it marinate in the lime juice for a few minutes and then remove it. That'll be a little bit more of a mild sauce. And then we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise and some sriracha. About two to three teaspoons of sriracha, but you can go as spicy as you like. By the way, this is also awesome on burgers. It's awesome as a dip for sweet potato fries or my oven fries. And this will keep in the fridge for at least a week, so you can absolutely make it ahead. Now, one last step before you cook the tuna that's really important is to pat it dry. We want it as dry as it can be because that way it's gonna get a nice sear in the skillet. We're gonna add a tablespoon of neutral vegetable oil and let that get really hot. I also wanna season the tuna with a little salt and pepper. So you can tell your pan is hot enough when you start to see the oil shimmer a little bit. You can cook this until it's nicely browned on the bottom. It only needs about two to three minutes per side. One of the nice things about when you're cooking tuna is that you can see how far it's cooked on each side with a nice rare line in the middle. 
You'll want to let the tuna steak rest for about five minutes. And remember, it will continue to cook as it rests. And then we're going to slice it against the grain. You can see the grain of the meat runs this way. So we're gonna slice it this way. Oh, smells so good. You can see how it's ruby red and rare in the middle, caramelized on the outside. My favorite way to eat tuna. Now you can serve the tuna just as it is. It's delicious. You can drizzle it with this creamy sriracha sauce or you can transform it into a spicy tuna bowl, which is what I'm going to do. To make spicy tuna bowls, you can serve the tuna over an edamame sushi salad. It's one of my favorite side dishes and it's really easy to make. To a bowl, add cooked quinoa. You can make this ahead of time. Diced cucumber, diced avocado, defrosted frozen edamame, chopped pickled ginger, and scallions. Season with salt and pepper and toss with a simple orange garlic vinaigrette. We're going to pile some of this edamame sushi salad right into the bowl. And I include a recipe for this salad at the link below. Now we'll arrange a few slices of the tuna right over top. And then we'll finish it with a drizzle of the sriracha sauce. And by the way, you can always thin out the sauce with some water if you prefer a thinner sauce. It really is an easy dinner, but so elegant and so delicious. There you have it, a spicy tuna bowl. And if you want, you can sprinkle the top with a few sesame seeds. All right, let's give it a taste. If you like sushi, you're going to love this seared tuna. The tuna is so delicious. You get that bright salad and that little hint of ginger that I love, and then that creamy, spicy sauce. This is one of my favorite special occasion meals. I really hope that you guys give this one a try. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can find me over on Instagram at From Scratch Fest if you wanna tag me in your photos. I'm Nikki Sizemore, this is From Scratch Fast. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.